into our short box series on our ladder barrel. So let's get rid of this. And Malia's gonna hop up. So for short box, we're gonna sit on the barrel and have our feet on the ladder portion. And for the first round back, we're gonna be down a little bit in front of the apex. That might be a little too much, but it's, everybody's a little different. You wanna get your hip and your knee relatively, uh, in, relatively in one line parallel to the floor here. All right, how's that feel? Good, and your feet are rested on the bladder flexed so that in case you go flying off backwards, you can catch yourself with your arches. Hopefully that won't happen, right? Okay, here we go. We're gonna do round back, five sets. Nice and tall, inhale, exhale, curl, roll back, and you're looking for the barrel back there. Frame the face, and now you're gonna go forward, hollow the abs in a big C, and then we roll up nice and tall. Gorgeous. And again, this is two. Roll it back and frame that face and round it forward and roll it up. Again, this is three. Roll back and lift and round. Bring it up two more times. Four and lift and round and up. One more set. Five, and lift, and round, and up. Nice, now we're gonna do flat back or straight back. Uh, you can stay there or you can push yourself up a little bit higher on there. And then we can do hands behind our head, elbows slightly forward. Again, you could do arms crossed, you could do arms up overhead, you could hold a two pound weighted pole, whatever you feel like. Here we go, let's inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale, hinge flat back and exhale, get taller as we come up. Nice, one, hinge, and bring it up. Two, and hinge, and bring it up. Three, and hinge, and bring it up. Four, one more time. Hinge, and bring it up. Five. Good, let's twist. Reach your arms side in a big T. Again, here you can stay where you are. Ribs are gonna connect. We'll do five sets. Inhale tall and go one way. Oh, one and two and three. And then we come back center and other way. Two, three and center and right. Two, three, inhale center, exhale left. Two, three and center. This is three. Two, three, and center, and three. Two, three, and center, and a four. Two, three, and center, and four. Two, three, last round. Five, two, three, and center, and five, two, three. Good, all right, side to side, hands behind the head. You can adjust if you need to. Is everything feeling okay? All right, here we go. Nice and tall and bend to one side. And then you're gonna get nice and tall in the center and bend to the other side. And nice and tall in the center. Good with those ribs. And side. And we're trying, you're doing a very good job. We're trying to keep our low back with its natural curve, but keep our ribs connected at the same time and bend sideways. No big deal. Again, this is three. And center. And three. Gorgeous. I saw that correction. That was very good. And four. And center and four, and center. Last round, please. Five, center, and five. Good, all right. We're gonna do tree now. You need to shake it out a little bit. All right, she's ready. So for this one, you wanna be slightly further down so that you can roll to your lower back and get it um, on the barrel. All right, bring one leg up. And our goal is to try and stay as tall as we can through our spine. This is far more easy, easier said than done, but Malia's gonna do it perfectly. Here we go, inhale, exhale, straight that leg. One, and then bend, and two, 
and bend, and three. Good, climb your tree. Now, we're gonna curl to the lower back, start to roll down and walk down until your lower back touches. And then we're gonna roll back up. So you can see where this might lead later on to arching all the way off the back. Roll back down, but not in level two. And roll up, and one more time. Come on down, and come on up. Good, nice. Let's go ahead, bend that leg down, and we can do the other leg, and you can adjust where you are on the barrel. Good, nice. Inhale, and straighten it up when we're ready. And then we bend, and two, and then we bend, and three. Gorgeous, climb that tree. And when you're ready, walk down. Good, and walk back up. Isn't it funny how one side is always easier than the other? And walk down, squeeze your right glute a little bit. There we go, and walk up. Gives you a little anchoring, yes, and walk down and walk up very nice and bend it in beautiful short box all right come up shake it out and now we get to do some fun swanage on the uh, ladder barrel so first one is we'll just come out to a torpedo with our feet down so almost everybody can do this this is a level one exercise um, so heels are going to be up and you're going to be on the balls of your feet. Pelvis is going to be on the barrel and we're going to round over the barrel and we can put our hands under our forehead. We'll do under our forehead. You can also go do down by your side. So this is just like torpedo when I was holding her arches with the arc barrel that we did earlier. Here we go. Inhale and exhale. Shoot to one long line. So now we have a connection from heels to glutes to shoulders out the crown of the head. Good, and then go back down. We'll just do five. And again, come on up. Two, and bring it down. And three, and bring it down. And four, and bring it down. One more set. Five, and very good. Come on down and rest. All right, shake it out a bit. Now we're gonna start to get a little fancy and acrobatic on the barrel. Don't let this, these little simple exercises make you think that the barrel is a piece of cake. Okay, so we're gonna take and we're gonna make a little V with our feet on the ladder. So heels together, toes apart. Your heels will be on the second rung and then the toes are gonna be on the first rung. Your knees are bent and your pelvis is down on the barrel and then you're gonna round over the barrel. And you're gonna kinda of feel like you're squeezing your butt here, like you're going to imprint. And you can either do hands at your forehead. Let's do arms down by the sides for this first set of these. So deep breath, and now she's gonna come up in one long line here, just like we did, except for now we've got our legs all fancy here. And then go back down, does it feel okay? All right, and again, shoot it up, two. Very nice with those ribs, and down. And again, three, and down. Two more, four, and down. One more, please. Five, and down. Nice, come off there and rest a moment. So now, we're going to start showing you the full swan dive on here. So this is broken down into bits and pieces to make it a little easier to learn how to do, okay? So now we're gonna go put the feet on in our V and this time we're gonna use our tush and our belly and shoot us out into one long torpedo line. So heels together, toes apart. Again, we're rounded. Hands are now down by the hips. Abs are up and in, deep breath. You're gonna push to the toes, squeeze the tush, and go for it. Shoot to one long line. Good, so the key here is squeezing your tush and pulling your abs in. That is what gets you up. Close your ribs a little. Uh, can you go down more? Ah! 
It's so much more fun this way. She loves it. And now slide down. Good. Five of these. See if you can find that spot right away. Inhale, exhale, suck the abs in. Oh, and she found it. She's good like that. And come back down. Little more butt, yes? She says, yes, I don't like it. And again, three. That's what makes you look so good in your bikini, honey. And come back down. And again. Four. Everyone who lives in Hawaii has to be able to sport a bikini no matter how old they are. One more time. And five. And you've made it. And you can do the swan flop now. Very good. All righty. Well, we have made it to stretch time. All right. So let us... We're gonna slide, you're gonna wanna slide this out. I think we already did this, yeah, but we'll slide it out a little bit further than what we had it for short box. Uh, so you have a little bit more range. And then we're gonna grab the box and you'll slide it in. So the box is here to help us out if we're a little bit tighter. So Malia could probably do this without the box, but we're gonna show it with the box. You can also have a platform extender and set it down there for a little bit less of a lift. Um, anything that's gonna lift you up so that we can get our hips square as we're doing our stretch. All right, and we're gonna go through our ballet stretches. So go ahead and bring up one leg and we're gonna straighten it out and we're gonna flex the foot, pull our belly button in. And then we're gonna go flat back forward at first. And you can have your hands on the uh, ladder if you like. You can also put them down on the barrel to give you a little bit of support here. And as we're stretching, we wanna keep our ribs in. We wanna keep our hips as even as possible. We wanna keep our energy out the crown of our head. And just breathe here gently for a few moments. And you should feel a nice stretch right up at the insertion of your hamstrings. So when you reach your tail away from you, you pull the pelvis away and then that elongates that hamstring right up at your sits bone a little bit more. And just breathe. And now when you're ready, let's go ahead, point that toe. Good. And now you can continue going forward and round and go to where it feels good. And we'll hang here and breathe a little bit. Yep, and uh, trying to even your hips out, feeling the outside and the glute of your supporting leg is a wonderful thing to do to even out your pelvis and give you a little bit more stability in that standing leg. Good, then go ahead, come on up. And you can reach back to your ladder if you like, and we'll change legs. So we'll bring the right leg down and we'll pull the left leg up. Straighten it out, flex the foot. Stabilize yourself with that right standing leg and then hinge forward, flat back, either holding on to the ladder or you can go ahead and reach forward onto the barrel. Belly is up and in, head is shooting out, ribs are connecting, shoulders are wide. Good, and when you're ready, Malia, you can point that toe and continue to round forward, squaring those hips off. And breathe and let the back of that leg open out. Nice, good. When you're ready, you can go again ahead and come on up and then when you're ready, take the leg down. We'll go into pigeon now. So for pigeon, you're gonna bring the right leg up and you're gonna turn it out. So the more parallel or in line your heel is to your knee, and the more your knee is across your midline, the more miserable this gets, okay? So you can either leave it outside or bring your heel in towards you a little bit if it's too much, all right? But Malia's doing a fabulous job, nice and parallel. And you're gonna anchor yourself with that left glute over here. And you'll also feel a stretch in the front of your left hip flexor, yeah? Good. And just stay here for a moment.
and then when you're ready, you can walk down and try and go over so you'll feel even more stretch on the outside of that right hip. And breathe and allow everything to open out. Nice. And when you're ready, walk back up. And we can change to the other leg. Quite exciting, yes? Yes. Okay, so same thing. First, you're going to line that front leg up. Square the hips up. Hollow the abs. And feel that stretch there. Getting a nice stretch in the front of the right hip flexor and the outside of that left leg. And breathe and allow everything to melt open. Probably a little in the calf also, yeah? Yeah. go ahead and bow forward. You can keep your arms by your sides or you can let them go over the barrel. And again, squaring the hips, breathing, and allow everything to open up and release. Good. And when you're ready, come on up. Right, we're going to do a little bit of inner thigh, second position and side bends. So you're going to bring your body to the back edge of your box, turned out, both legs will be turned out, and the other leg is going to come up on your barrel. And we're going to straighten it out. Actually, we'll do second position straight first. Yes, turned out. And what you're going to do is the outside hand is going to side bend over, and then the inside hand is going to reach across. Good. And so we're feeling that hip rotate just like it's uh, a light bulb unscrewing from a light socket. And then a nice big side bend. Some people can grab on and give a tug. Other people might have a hard time doing that. And just breathe here. Good. And then come on up. And bring that leg down, and we can do the other leg. So flip around. Perfect. Turned out. Right leg goes on. Square in the hips, hollowing the abs, rotating in the hip socket, and up and over side. So if for some reason you can't reach over, you can always just put your hand down on the barrel for a little bit of stability. But Malia can reach just fine, so. And come up. All right, we're going to do a little bit of quad stretch. So take it down. We'll face this way. And you'll bring one foot up onto the barrel. And we may need to press the left foot a little more forward. So you can just bring it forward. Good. This is going to be here. We're going to try and go parallel. And then we're going to tuck our pelvis under. And you should feel a nice stretch in our right quad. Yes. So the more you pull your pelvis under, and pull your abs up, the more you're gonna stretch out those hips. And we'll stay for just a little bit here. I don't really know anyone who doesn't need to stretch out their hip flexors. And now when we're ready, we're gonna anchor with our left hand, reach our right arm up, and you can arch up and back a little bit, and that's gonna increase that stretch all the way through from your hips all the way up to your chest. And just breathe gently. And come on up when you're ready. Gorgeous. Okay, change legs. See, I promised we'd get you all stretched out. All right, belly is up, pelvis down. And now we're getting a nice stretch in the front of our left thigh, yes? And just breathe. And then when you're ready, anchor with the right hand, reach that left arm up, and do a nice big up and back for an arch. Good. And when you're ready, come back up. 
All right. Now we'll do that adductor stretch. So you can face whichever way you want. We're gonna put your foot either on the apex or a little bit in front of the apex. And this may be a little too much for some people, but Malia loves it. So you're gonna go here and then you're gonna lunge forward and you're gonna try and get a nice stretch in your inner thigh. You should feel it definitely on the left, but a little bit on the right too, yes? Good. And hang into there and let that inner thigh stretch out a little bit. So for a lot of people, it's, this is a little bit too much, but you can always work up to it. Good. Are you ready? All right, come on up. Let's go to the other side. So turned out to the back of the box and then bring it more towards the front of the barrel. And then when you're ready, just lunge right into it. Yep, and this other hand can either be on your knee, on the barrel, whatever feels comfortable. We just don't want you sliding off the box. That would not be good. Good. And when you're ready, come out of it. And now, for the grand finale, we'll arch off the back. So we'll show you the easy way and the more exciting way. So walk your feet out a bit and then you're just gonna bring your sacrum up against the box. And if you're taller, you may have to slide down a little bit, but this is fine for Malia. So all you're gonna do is roll back. And then once you're safely there, you can reach your arms up and back and just hang back over. And it's a nice, beautiful, wonderful extension, anchoring yourself down with your heels and breathing and then when you're ready if you want you can shimmy back and try grab onto the ladder now this you may have to pull the barrel in a little bit but you can grab onto the ladder and then if you can get your toes off you get an even more exciting stretch all the way through and it feels really glorious doesn't it she says yes And then you can let go gently and come to stand. Nod that chin on the way up. Good job. And shake it out. Are we feeling stretched? Good. Thank you so much for joining us today. Visit us online at www.upsidedownpilates.com. You can check us out on YouTube for all of our episodes, all the way back to the very first one. It's youtube.com slash Upside Down Pilates. You can also join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Upside Down Dance and Pilates. And then uh, Instagram, we also have an account there. So I look forward to seeing you next time and have a fabulous rest of your day. Aloha. Oh, and it was about...